What you got? Well, on top of the TTX, we also found traces of lactobacillus. It's a bacteria bees leave behind on plants when they pollinate. Didn't Bill say bees were being stored in greenhouse 18? Yeah, about 30 hives worth. Nobody say Candyman more than four times, okay? I'll get a field team to secure them. And you said TTX naturally occurs in a certain type of fish, right? So how could the bees be carriers? Well, there'd have to be gene modification to get the bacteria into the bees, and the only way to do that would be with CRISPR technology. CRISPR is a, a family of DNA sequences I bet found... Bill Nye has a video on this. I mean, he, he makes science fun. I can be fun. Hey, Kurt was right, I found something. CRISPR stands for clustered, regularly interspaced, short, palindromic repeats. We can use it to change an organism's genes, the bits of DNA that determine almost everything about us, or any living thing, or size, or shape, hair color, number of legs, and so on. <laughs> now, here are a pair of my pants that feature a serious mustard stain. Now, the stain represents a genetic sequence that predisposes me to some syndrome, like enthusiastic hot dog consumption. <laughs> Researchers can use CRISPR to go in and snip out that genetic sequence and mend or replace it. It's like having a pair of scissors and a sewing kit all in one for jeans or jeans. <laughs> Okay, that is how you explain science. While you were enjoying genetic modification over simplification 101, I checked the Spelta files and found this article. Bee populations. What does that have Take to Take a look at the author. Jenny Kelling? And there's a section in here about how this technology could eradicate entire populations. So she's using bees as a weapon to poison crops. Oh, I knew she was bad. The hive from the farm are missing. If those bees are released, they kill millions of people. Thank you.